Hi, my name is Michael Madison, and I'm the uh, director. And uh, my name is Linda Nelson, and I was the uh, cinematographer. First song you're going to hear is a uh, song by uh, Jonas Policewoman, and uh, we met her through uh, Neil Cassell, the person you'll be hearing uh, songs from later on in the movie. And those, are, those are beautiful photographs provided by uh, Alfredo Falvo. Alfredo uh, is a young Italian photographer, and we happened to meet him by accident while we were shooting uh, downtown um, on Skid Row, and he came to this country to do a photographic essay on Los Angeles' Skid Row population, and uh, he has some amazing photographs, and he was kind enough to let us use them uh, in the film. Uh, we uh, cut out the very first, we had a, a, a really good sequence at the very beginning of the film. It was uh, supposed to be the first meeting that you see uh, this businessman uh, meet his business partners and you're kind of introduced to the, uh, the story, the backstory of uh, these guys are uh, real estate, mortgage banking uh, uh, business. But we had to cut the uh, the scene out because of uh, really bad audio, uh, quick cuts back and forth. And it just didn't work. That's uh, Keith Weifels right there. He's a fellow actor from Playhouse West. And the uh, man that just entered right there, the actor, that's uh, Rhino Michael. And I just got off the phone with Peter in Miami Beach. Rhino Michaels is a really good uh, actor. Let's see, we shot this at Joe uh, Marsh's office. He's a publicist for Marsh Communications. And also you'll see Joe later in the film as an actor. Get out of here and lay low for a couple of days. What am I supposed to tell everybody we hired? What am I going to do with them? Let's see here. This scene, we uh, the audio was uh, not good in the... Uh, in the office, so we had to uh, do ADR for the I, scene. I gotta go outside and get some air. We had a very loud air conditioner uh, going there that was uh, part of the whole building, so there was no way to uh, turn it off. And um, Shifted is a really low, low, ultra low, do it yourself uh, film, low budget, do it yourself film, and uh, for that uh, reason, we had a lot of uh, technical issues with uh, sound, and uh, we wound up having to spend a huge amount of effort afterward uh, cleaning uh, the audio the best we could. Uh, there's funny stories involved with that, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, this is Chick Daniels, or Chick Daniel, I'm sorry. I put an S on the back of it. Um, he's a really good actor. We uh, met him through uh, Hector Hank at Chula. See later on in the film, he's going to play a police officer. Uh, Chick Daniel uh, plays the uh, my boss in the film, one of my bosses. Uh, we filmed that scene right there in the back of his uh, his uh, van. We drove around uh, Glendale and filmed that. It's supposed to look like the back of a uh, limo, and uh, it worked out pretty well. This uh, location is right next door to where Michael and I worked uh, at our day job and we'll uh, talk more about that later as well. Uh, this uh, particular location is uh, my daughter's house and uh, we had many wonderful contributions of locations Hello, and uh, Robert, for, for uh, low budget films and uh, people that are making first time films on, especially it's a really important thing to kind tomorrow. of make a big you list of uh, all the possible locations that you can you acquire through your friends and family so thing. that you can then build your the script uh, around those uh, locations that you have because we have the last thing you want to do is have to shoot your first film all in one room, although it can sometimes be interesting. I think um, it's really good if you can uh, try and locate some really good locations uh, from friends so that you don't have to spend a lot of money on locations. Keith Weifels, this is his apartment in Santa Monica. Hey, Brad. Hey, buddy. Good to hear from you. I uh, tried calling your office a couple times, but... And, uh, pretty much, you know, like Linda was news. saying, we, we got all the locations donated to us. Shut down by the SEC. 
Uh, oh, the music in the background is another very Brad, important thing. Uh, it's uh, Scott Erickson Brad? is the uh, composer yep. for our film, and uh, Look, he really, really did a great sorry, job. Man. I got a lot of calls. We were very okay. fortunate to get him because he uh, is a very okay. experienced right, composer. Brian. And uh, yeah, he's, okay. uh, if you look him up on IMDb, you'll see that he's done a lot of uh, very well known movies. And uh, he was interested in helping us with our first independent feature and uh, spent a lot of time with us um, on the soundtrack. This car was donated by uh, Linda's friend Penny, and uh, we really appreciated that. And this is your first time you should get to meet Joe Wagner. And she's a really uh, good friend of ours. She, uh, when we were making, when we were casting the film, uh, it was, uh, she just got cast in the, the TV show Punked. So that was really great. Uh, we kind of wrote this part with her in mind, we thought of the actors that we knew, and uh, we thought of Jill for this part, and uh, it worked out really well. That's a really beautiful shot, Linda's shot right there. We decided uh, that we wanted to try and uh, um, Are you still mad at me? catch a sunset for yeah, this, David, so we hung still out still at this place where we hike. Oh, uh, and it's a really funny story. Uh, one time, uh, we actually saw Jennifer yeah, Aniston and Brad Pitt hiking uh, up in the stage chase. And uh, um, it's the only people we've ever seen up there besides yeah. ourselves, and we love to hike up there. So we thought we'll, you know we'll go up there and try and catch a sunset. So. I figured, you know, after last night, we had such a bad experience with dinner. Don't ever do that again. Well, I was going to give you this when I came back from this trip. Now that watch, that's my watch, and I've had it for many, many years, but I just happened to have saved the box, so it came in handy. And there is our sunset. Lighting uh, is always an issue in low-budget films, and we had to depend primarily on uh, practical lighting that is anything that was uh, available wherever we were shooting. Well, we had one uh, bank of fluorescent lights that we carried Sweet around with us that we used and outside of that we Yippity had to make do with what we had. And we also uh, did not have a lighting crew, we just had one crew member, um, his name was uh, Greg Wyrick and he basically did everything. Okay. He lugged all of our equipment around with us and uh, Helped us with uh, miking and sound and droving, drove us around and. and oh, wait, um, wait one second. So this really was done with just a crew of three, two of which were Michael and myself. Okay. This is jo uh, Joanna Fiore playing the waitress, and uh, we met her again through Hector Hank. Uh, this location is called White Lotus, and uh, Linda is friends with uh, the owner Chris Breed and his wife. And uh, they let us shoot there. I think we went there on a, a Thursday at about noon when they're closed down, and we shot. He let us shoot till uh, I think four o'clock. So we crammed uh, this scene and a uh, another scene later on with Jill and uh, Rhino Michaels. Uh, in a couple of hours, we shot the scene. So Sir, there seems to be it was a pretty hectic. There's a, a lot of pressure oh, no, no, no. when we have it's, it's just uh, time constraints like that. It seems that. to be damaged uh, or something. And, uh, you should probably call the company and get, get a new one. you got to get your shot because that was the only oh, day we could shoot there. And, uh, okay. Normally a location like this you'd have to pay many thousands of dollars for. So uh, there you go. we're very Thank grateful you. to very Chris for contributing this. That's Again, this good. the sound on this one was not good because there's a uh, major now? street right behind the uh, wall right. that we're sitting by. So uh, this is also ADR. Uh, we did ADR and then we just put the background noise on it, so I mean, it worked pretty well. It's what we uh, had to use and what we had. Listen, David, we didn't have enough money to uh, can, um, to sweeten it really well. So. We also couldn't yeah, afford to close sure. down streets and uh, get permits, and uh, we do not ha uh, have David, permits what? for any of the street scenes. We just kind of went out and. Uh, and winged it guerrilla style, and it worked out fine. Yeah, because we had a crew of uh, just two people usually. Well, three, but one of them was the actor, so.